What's up viewers, you are welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to download free content in that studio. First and foremost, I want to say big thank you to my subscribers. Thank you so, so much. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please click on the subscribe button. And if you find this video helpful, kindly give my video a thumbs up. All right, let's jump right to today's tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways to uh, download free content in that studio. All right, so the first one is, which you always see on uh, that studio website, that is the weekly free breeze. Okay, so, and you, in case you don't know about this, you always have weekly free bridge on that studio. So once you select on um, this button, shop now. Now let us wait, it, wait for it to load up. Okay, so at this point, you uh, you have this. So what you need to do, you either select this or you scroll down to see uh, the available items you have to download. So you have all this to download, but uh, let me give you a hint. Not all content of that studio you can download because what is the sense of you downloading it and you can't make use of it? What am I trying to say? Like this one you have your Victoria file, this does a texture. In order for you to make use of this uh, texture, you need to purchase the character itself, itself. Okay, so anyway, you see texture. I suggest you don't uh, do not uh, purchase it because you won't be able to make use of it. So, more well, whenever you see uh, outfits. Outfit like this is a outfit texture. Whether you don't see an outfit, just like this. This is an outfit. This is an outfit. Uh, I think once you click on this, you also see it. I don't want to click on the female due to uh, YouTube policy. Okay, but you can also try it out. So I will go for this. Let's uh try this so we have uh, selected before so once you select on it let me see okay all right so since i've selected on it before uh probably there is one thing i want to show you here so let me remove this item first and go back to the main page again okay so from the shop uh shop now so now it's now green so once i select on it so you can select on multiple ones before it loads on time all right so at this point this is just add on that is you have varieties of more of this but when you see when you select on the material any of those free content and you see require products there then the pro whatever product you have here you won't be able to make use of it unless you purchase the, the required products but this one you can make use of it because this is just add on just now this is a full uh, content this is just part of it that's that studio is releasing out for you okay so i can purchase this so this is genesis uh, ranger so what i need to do next since it does this i just want to purchase just for this tutorial video and um, what i need to do is to select checkout okay then uh proceed to checkout Alright, then place order. So this is done. So the order has been uh, has 
been sent to my DAS manager. Okay, so let me show you the second uh, way to get free content in DAS Studio. All right, so from uh, from your search button anywhere, when you open it, just look at your search uh, button here. Then input one hundred percent. 100% free you get it you also present input 100% off so let's try this all right so these are the uh, the free content like the necklace for uh, for a female, I think it's for a female. It's for a male. This chair, this is uh, every stuff, a tank top. These are cool stuff. You can actually what uh, actually purchase. I've purchased everything you see, and that's why you are seeing a purchase icon. If not, so you should see a cat icon. All right. So. Since you've done that, now let's see how we could actually uh, install the purchased content in our DAS Studio. All right. Okay. Let me uh, have this. Delete this. Okay. Now, from the DAS Studio, make sure once you open up your DAS Studio, make sure you click on uh, this button and make sure you are your data is on. You connect to the net to the server, then input your username and your password as usual. And in case you've on it, you can also come down to this point now and log out it out so I can actually click on login here and input click on login so this should load up once it's loaded up like that in a minute please okay once it's loaded up like that now we actually want to uh, locate where that material the content we just purchased so I it's a very good material right now what you need to do is from your smart content, select on your smart content, then select, make sure you're on the products, select a uh, wardrobe from the wardrobe, now select available. Install simply means the products you have installed on your, uh, on so far from that studio, the one you've purchased and the free content. So what you need to do is to select available. That is available simply means the product you've purchased but you've not installed on your what should I call it on your studio. Okay. So uh, this is the you could just look at this is the uh, content we just installed. Now you can see I have different types here. Yes, it's all because I've purchased them. I've purchased all these contents before. This is not the system actually used to purchase uh, the product. So this under system, and one of the benefit of that studio is whatever system you use to purchase. Once you log into a new system with your email and your password, you have all your content available for you to install back on that system. So feel free, all your content are safe. All right. So all you need to do here is, here is to double click on it. Now, this should start uh, loading up. So let's give it a time uh, to load it up. Let it load itself. In my previous tutorial, I explained how to install uh, your content from your install manager to that studio, right? So this is another method from your DAS studio. You could actually install your products directly into your uh, into that studio into your studio. Okay. 
So while waiting, uh, let us gonna pause the video at this point. Okay, so we are back. Now at this point, we want to let us locate the content with us installed finished. So all you need to do is make sure you are still on the products. Select installed. Now this is the products. As you can see, this is the wardrobe, the web material, um, the, uh, the materials, just as accessories. So let's try it on. So uh, probably let me look at this. This is a Genesis character. So okay. So for us to load these materials, this variable content uh, materials into our Genesis into any characters, we can either use uh, this is Genesis character items rather. You can either make use of uh, Genesis or Genesis two, three, and above. Probably we have. Let's say for adventure, we purchase an item which is meant for Genesis theory, either male or female. You can use that material on Genesis 2 and Genesis 1, but you can use that material on higher Genesis. Do you get it? So, Genesis 8 uh, figure will actually work for all Genesis uh, materials you have before, you've purchased before. Okay? I don't know if my explanation is clear enough. In case you didn't get it, please just let me know in the comment section below. Okay? So, uh, let us load up probably the Genesis, a Genesis 8 character. So Genesis 8 character is loaded up now. Make sure it's selected. So let's uh, go back to the the wardrobe and select on this. So the first thing you need to do, make sure this is always up when selecting your materials. Okay. So let's see. You could just select on anyone and start loading it up. Let's start with the paints. So double click, but make sure you've selected your mat, your figure you want to do the item on the content on. So double click on it. Now, if I should move closer, you see it's not fitted. It looks somehow. So all you need to do is select this is it. This is the material I've actually loaded on him. Right click, select fit. This is the name of uh, the content, the material, so the paint actually. So just select on it and select, choose the character you actually want it to fit on. This is Genesis 8 male, this is Genesis 8 male eyelashes. So it is the figure we actually want to load the material on. So select Accept. Then this auto fit will surely pop out for you and request you to uh, to put in the right parameters. So now it says what figure was this originally designed for? This is a, it's actually designed for a Genesis uh, a Genesis character. So just select Genesis character. Then, uh, what types of item is this? Uh, probably it's a dress. Uh, since you can't find uh, the option here, the pants, you can't find the pants there, just leave that like that and select accept. Okay, now it's not, it's now fitted on him. We're we'll stitching the uh, the items, the materials. So make sure it's selected again. And next one, 
okay double select on this so the same thing select on this right click fit whatever items you have they will be in the middle then fit that item to select on it and um, we want to select it on Genesis 8 mail, not the pants, Genesis 8 mail. Then select Accept, the same procedure. This item was created for Genesis character. It's a top, you can't find the top here, so just leave it like that. Then select Accept. So once you select Accept, now you can see it's now margin but it still look uh somehow whitish right don't worry we will apply the the materials okay so at this point the next one let's see we have the uh the boots so from the boots this is the boots right click fit to genesis 8 mail assets then this designed for genesis you don't have anything like boots here, so select Accept. So it's load up like that. So the other one should be, I think, the cap, right? So make sure your character is selected, then double click to load uh, this up, then right click. Oops, okay, this is it. Yes, that is it. So right click, select fit wherever to um to Genesis 8 mail. Now select accept design for Genesis 8. Uh, what item? What other item is this? Uh, it is not an edge, just somehow like a car, a web material. So let select assets all right so the next thing to do is to go to your materials and on each one just make sure your item is selected the content selected here and select on it so you see it has changed the uh, the cap so the next one is the boots uh, probably the boots okay followed by the top the top this is the top you can see it select the top and also the pants the pants select on the pants that's the book click on it so that's it guys